22 karat gold. Is that what I think it is? Please be. This is heavy. After finding this stuff, I'm kind of excited. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus guys and today we're going to go back and hit the second half of that epic $200 storage unit we started on yesterday. We got all the furniture out and already made a good chunk of our money back already and in the back it's just so many boxes. Oh I can't wait to get into it. Let's get on the run and go get it. So here we are, back at our little unit here. And you remember from last time? What's left looks so good. Check it out. So with most storage units, it's fact that the good stuff is usually put in the back and then covered by the junkier stuff in the front. The junkier stuff we've already taken out, we've already made our money back on the unit. So with this stuff we got here, this is just all pure profit. Let's go through the first tote right here and see what we have. Boom, boom. Oh, look at that. First thing I see is some type of collectible Checkers NASCAR car. Brand is Checker Shucks Cragen. Hope I said that right, probably not. It's a one in 24 scale of a stock car. That's pretty cool. That'll probably be at our auction. Is this a Razor? This is school supplies. Hair color. Is that one piece or I don't know this show I feel like it is I never watched it but I feel like I recognize it what is that heat therapy massager all right all right what is this one you think that one's just random stuff too stuff stored very randomly in this unit isn't it yes it's the weirdest containers hold the weirdest stuff you never know never trust the box I'm for sale guys how much do I cost? Priceless. Oh, that means I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> Done with this tote. So, try to get this box down. Ooh, okay now. I see shoes on top of it. Oh boy. Uh -oh. All right. The shoes just kicked me in the head. And now I got two boxes. <laughs> you got them? <laughs> no, not really, but I'm gonna act like I do. Let me set them down over here. Hold on. Well, at least one wasn't like super duper heavy. I got kicked in the head, but I thought these were Adidas. They're not. These are a pair of Steve Maddens, but they look okay. Pretty new. Yeah, very lightly worn, if worn. Let's go into the first box. Let's try to assault me. This is misc. Not misc. What is That's that? What the box says. What is this? Something's in there. Paperwork, my favorite. Five. Huh? Five. Yeah. Some baskets. What is this? Open. Open. Stop taping everything. All right, they must have went through 80 rolls of tape in this store. Little storage unit. Different. Tissue paper. We'll use that as shipping paper. <laughs> a laptop charger. Hoping we find a laptop in here. And well, a basket. That one's not very exciting. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, this one's got some more weight. Uh, pictures. What is this? That looks creepy, doesn't it? A little bit. Hmm? A little bit. Careful. What? Just careful, because I don't know what it is. Might be valuable. All I did was rip the paper. I think I almost dropped it. No, I didn't. Um. Oh, nice. Look at this. Underwear. That's exactly what I expected to be in there totally. Get off my box. All right, so a fan, a whiteboard. Get this out the way. And in here we have whatever this is. Let's see. It might be picks or no, it looks like electronics. No more DVD players, please. It's a Blu-ray player. That's a step better than a DVD player. I'll take it, I'll take it. And we also have, are these gonna be Blu-rays or CDs? What do you think? CDs. Yeah, a bunch of CDs. A lot of them look burned now, so not particularly valuable. And in here we got, oh, there it is. 
There it is. You know, that's a DVD player, and I don't want to take it out because I'm so sick of looking at DVD players. All right, guys, this box is heavy, and I like what it says on it. You see that? Surround sound. All right. Let's see. Wait, wait, where's my tape? Where's my tape? There it is. All right. I think it's actually what it is. Cause I'm I think gonna say yeah. So far, we're like wait, maybe one in ten boxes that has actually been what it says it is. So I don't have much faith for it. Let's see. And that's exactly what it is, isn't it? Oops. Everything's together. Blu-ray player, speakers. This is the system right here. Let's see what the model is on it. It's a Sony. Where is it? STR K502P. I said that like it meant something to me, I didn't. I really said it so when I'm editing, I can pop the price up when I look it up. But <laughs> that looks good. I bet it's worth some money for sure. And we got a picture of someone kissing some feet. So I pulled down this skateboard. Unfortunately, it doesn't have its wheels, but I'm pretty sure we found some skateboard wheels in the part yesterday we took home, but it's a Kryptonic skateboard. California since 1965. It's got a good grip on it. Nice. So hopefully it's an expensive brand. It looks nice. Next box down. Actually, two boxes. This one was all plastic dishes. I didn't want to show it. And it looks like this one might be more of the same. Hey, Macy's box. Giant Macy's box. What's in here? Is it heavy? It's got some weight to it, all right. Ooh, snap. I don't know. <laughs> Did I get you excited? It is. Yeah. Uh -oh. Silverware. A 53 piece Kenningston silverware set. Alright. Brand new. Money. Yeah, definitely. We, the smaller one we bought or found before was 20 bucks, so that's probably worth at least 20 bucks, if not more. Is that the only thing in there? Just some. Yeah, more kitchen stuff. More kitchen stuff. Man, what's in here? Nothing's in there. But Ooh. Frosty? This toe right here is one of the ones I've been looking forward to since I could see it, because it looks like a huge Beanie Baby collection, and I like those. Let's bring it right over here. All right, let's see what we got. I used to have that cat striped one. Ugh, get, get off, get, get, get. All right, what's the book first? Among the Great Masters of Painting? That looks really old. Let's see if we can find a date on that before we look at the Beanie Babies. Whoa. Whoa, this looks really old, doesn't it? Yeah. Where's our copyright date at? It's gotta be old. Um, I'm not seeing a date though. I really don't. 1901. 119 year old book. <laughs> That's pretty cool for sure. Let's put that back in here for now. I don't want it to get too exposed to the elements. But look at all of Mask. these. Oh boy. <laughs> this will protect me from nothing. That's like a kid's one, it's so tiny. Then we got Nerma. Nerma? Hi, Nerma. I'm wondering if, are they all in bags? They're all in bags, aren't they? I was about to say, are they more expensive? This. All right. So we have Nerma. Okay. We have, what's your name? I can't tell, but a pig. This looks like Spangle, Spangle almost. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's who he is. Can't tell. Uh, There's another one in American Flag stuff. Hmm. There's got to be like, 30 to 50 of them, like a pink cat. Yeah, I see. The rainbow bear. I don't really want to take them out of there because I'm sweaty right now. And yeah, I really don't want to get sweat on them. But look at this. It's not one or two. It's, I'm going to say 50 plus feet. And these are kind of like comics. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't have much value, but you get the right one and you're talking thousands of dollars. It's really something you're gonna have to look into or we're gonna have to look into, but you'll probably definitely see a lot of them on the live auction tomorrow. So we moved out of that beanie bag thing what we thought were just paperwork, but look at this. You got a cool Jimi Hendrix wooden thing. What does it say down there? Eight, 1986, the estate of Jimi Hendrix. All right. I think it could've came out of the house. No. And then we also got this Rolling Stone copy that's in a plastic protector, which hopefully is good news. It's him too. That's Jimi Hendrix as well. So nice. that's, again, just like the Beanie Baby, this is going to be our probably two hour research bin right here. <laughs> Let's hope something in there turned out to be worth a lot. So we moved a bunch of personal pictures out of the back, but this one, I don't know if these are like real postcards from these dates or what. Like look at some of the dates on these. I saw 1892 right there. Hmm. Either which way. 
That's definitely super cool, and it's definitely gonna have to go to our research. Dear purchaser. Oh look, Unique Arts of Houston. Hmm. Hmm. This is definitely cool looking for sure. And the fact that it's ripped up here kind of scares me, but mm -hmm. you never know. Who watches Storage Wars? You know, who was it, Daryl, that one <laughs> I think time? I think it was Daryl. I watched there like a bunch of money hidden in a picture. Hasn't happened to us yet, but you know what? I'm not giving up hope. Never. This thing is really cool. And I think it's definitely something we're going to keep. So it says Merry Christmas on it, but it's one of those things you can set up and it takes like chalk on it. So you can kind of, you know, without having to buy tons and tons of signs. This would be cool for when we have like yard sales and things like that, just to put it there so you know you're at the right house. Yep. I like it. I'm keeping it. It sucks this is the only broken frame we found so far because that looks pretty cool. Every dog has his day with Scarface on it. That's pretty sick, but the frame's always replaceable. You know you can buy, not this size, quick little cheap tip. Buy a frame at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, ditch the frame, take the glass, replace it, and you don't got to spend another 15 or 20 on it getting a new one. Quick tip. So we got a couple more pieces of art in there. Again, art's one of those things. This could be five bucks from uh, Big Lots, or that could be a $10,000 piece from Pablo Picasso. <laughs> you don't know until you look it up. Luckily, you can use Google Image Search now. and Search by image makes artwork lookups really easy. We got another one here. They're definitely hand painted and matted, matted into frames. That has a signature on it. Does it? Yep. Cool. Vetriano, V-E-T-T-R-I-A-N-O. Frames in very, pretty well shape. I mean, it's just got a little crack in the corner down here, but other than that, that's not bad looking either. So this, which almost fell on my head, is a 13 by 13 two locker family hex dome tent. We usually get 10, 20 bucks on the tent, depending on the brand. I'm not too familiar with the brands. This is a giant checkered board with glass pieces. Crystal, chess, and checker set. Cool. Putting it out there. I will smack anybody in checkers. Don't play with me. When we go to, what's the restaurant? What's it called? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel <laughs> that has the checker tables. I'm sorry, smacking people in checkers. You don't want none. And look at this thing. Ooh. Look at that, is that motorized? That is motorized, look up here. Nice. Remote control boat. I found this um, in a box yesterday, the control, the Nico control, yeah. We got it, right? Yeah. I just Ooh. don't think it had batteries in it, but That's we'll okay. find batteries. But check that out. That can't be cheap. That's a f pretty big boat. That is awesome. I can't wait to see what that's worth. Look at that. A nice picture of a cow. I can't keep it in my house because I'd be thinking of steak and cheeseburgers all day. That's just how I roll. But... Tell him he's not cute. Mm. Look him in the eyes and tell him he's not cute. Hey, cow. I want steak instead. Sorry. You got to lose for that. Poor cow. But, Somebody will buy that on Facebook Marketplace like that, super Easy. fast. We got Sports Authority, was it like a stadium seat? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's a stadium seat. So, five bucks. This is what I want to get out soon. That's a whole bookshelf with a bunch of stuff on it, but until we can get to it, let's pull this big guy right here, over here, and see what we got. Remote car. <gasps> oh, yes, remote control car, RC cars. Careful, don't let it fall. Let's set it on the ground. Yeah. Be safe. Ew. Well, a Saint helmet. Ooh, a Hummer. Ooh, look at this. It's all Lego stuff. Awesome. That's actually a hard hat. That's not a kid's toy. Nice. It's like a construction half of the Saints, but being as it's the Saints, you'd probably get hit hard even with it on. You just still would <laughs> lose it. We got a Hummer. Hummer and a boat in the same storage unit. I like that. <laughs> you guys know, know, like since I was like 10, the black H2 Hummer has been like my dream car. I don't know why. I just love them. It's probably because I'm huge. Gigaware. Gigaware. Alarm clock radio. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Nice. That's a Lego car. Pretty cool. Lego stuff goes for money. Yeah, it does. Look at that, especially that size. That is nice. Look at the other side of it. Mm -mm -mm. That's super nice. I'm the devil. <laughs> and there's remote to one of the cars, I'm sure. Oh, Camaro. You know, look, we got, well, you want a Mustang. Yeah, that, that's pretty close. That's though. pretty close though, yeah. And a Camaro. And I see at least one remote in there and two batteries, but we got a lot to go. I'm pretty sure we'll find the other one. Taking this big box off of that little thing because it's kind of dark in here. We're starting to get far back. I want you guys to be able to see it all clearly. Let's put it right on top of this one. You see what I see? Oh my God. Oh, oh. Oh, it's empty. Well, what is that? That's not empty. That, there it is. Guys, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Please be. 
No, what is it? <sighs> it's a rotary. Tool. Uh, one day we'll get a little boom boom again. <laughs> but let's see. Hello. There's the rock and sock and robot. What's this for? Receipts? Yeah, they're yep, not lying. Nice receipts. Good job, guys. We have to look at the date on the robots. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if this is an OG or not. Looks like it, but. Um, let's see. Red rocker, blue rocker. I'm not seeing a date on these. What about the box? 2001. They're early reproductions, though. I would think. I don't. I think the originals are older than that. You know we're sure. playing, right? Oh, you know you're gonna get your head popped up like a peasant machine. Let's go. You want right go? now? Right now. Bring it. We got red corner here. Whoa, yeah. I got blue corner. Let's Ready? go. Fight. Take these right hands. Uh. Oh! oh Woo! <laughs> I quit this. All right, now that we're done with your lucky win, let's get back in the box. <laughs> lucky. Let's see what we got. What is this? Mayflower glass sculpture. Is this like a ship in a bottle? You know what that is? I think it is. Ooh, those things are so cool. It is. Is it? It is. Oh, hold on, that's the stand. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. it's a glass ship in the bottle. 22 karat gold. Whoa. Now that is cool. Dang. That is super cool. That's definitely gonna have some really nice value. I'm guessing the sales are in 22 karat gold. That's what I like to see. So the books that were in there are actually just all personal pictures, which they'll get back. This is, what is that? Sari or Saray? Yeah. Hmm. Not too sure what that is. Need some help, guys. Yeah, that's weird. If you guys know what that is, make sure you let us know in the comments. Let's slide this big boy out, because this is heavy. After finding this stuff, I'm kind of excited. What do you think we have? Ooh. Oh, no. Let's see. Gold bars? Gold bars. It's... Money! What is that, Earl? Oh. Who's Earl? No. Hi, Earl. It's DMX. Oh. I didn't know that was his oh. real name. But it's like... Uh, what is this called? An ant? I forgot. <laughs> Antigram? Uh, there's some personal pictures. Look at that. Let's get these out. One of these newspapers. Ooh, look what I see. Ooh. Do y'all see what I see? Remember the whole reason I bid on this unit <laughs> is because I saw the end wire from a PlayStation 2 controller. I said there had to be gaming stuff in here. Well, look at that first. Nice. Ooh, International Silver, silver company. company. Six set of assorted cross water glow ornaments. Hmm. That's pretty cool. But as I was saying, do you see all these games over and here? More controllers. And more controllers. It looks like I see sports games though. Let's see what we got. FIFA Soccer 10, not good. Ugh. Ugh, the worst working. Call of Duty of all time. Yeah. Madden 13, Midnight Club LA. Um, let's see, NBA 2K16. We got Brink. What else is in here? Oh look, the Mass Effect Trilogy Edition. It has all three of them in there. TNA Impact. Sucks these so many sports games. The sports games just don't hold their value at yeah. all. Like literally right when the next one comes out, the other one's pretty much worthless. Oh, Medal of Honor Airborne. I like the Medal of Honor games, they're good. There's a lot of games in here. NBA Live 10, Fight Night Round 4, Batman Lego, Assassin's Creed, ooh, Battlefield Bad Company. Nice. Let's see what this is. What does that say, family? Family. That's cool. All right, so we have one, two, Wireless PlayStation 3 controllers. This one's Sony, this one's an off-brand. Sometimes the off-brands are worth more if they light up and things like that, so hmm. we'll gotta look it up. And I think what I see right here is the PlayStation 3. Come That's here, lighting. buddy. Oh. Ooh, PlayStation 3, this is an easy $30 for us. Set that aside. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Four more controllers. Nice. Three of them, I think. Think, yeah, three of them are actual Sony controllers, blue, red, and green, and then another one of those off-brand ones. Hmm. I think I see more games too. Oh, yes, There's I more do. Games. Hold on, look at these. These are just books. Books. But I see all this over here. Ew, Naruto. You know, people are crazy enough to think the Naruto guy can beat Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Like, what kind of drugs are you on? Um, Tokyo <laughs> Drift 3, That's a Far story. Cry 2. <laughs> Far Cry, one of the best RPGs. Yeah, I love Far Cry. Uh, what is that one? Need for Speed, Fight Night Champion. 
Black Ops 3, oh, Black Ops 2. For Call of Duty people out there, this is the best zombies mode in Call of Duty. The best. All right, what else do we have? This is got pictures in it. Family picture block. All things are possible to those who believe. It's actually inventor recognition. There's a couple like sports bobbleheads in here. Look, I'm pretty sure. Oops, get out of here, card. I'm pretty sure these are the ones that used to come in the Wheaties boxes back in the day. Cause I think my dad had a collection of these once upon a time. Pretty sure they came in the Wheaties boxes. And it looks like they only wanted the San Francisco Giants players. How sad. That. What is this little thing here? Is that a, what was that? I just heard something. I don't know. You're about to open it upside down. Ooh. What are those? Well. That's a picture. <laughs> these is like, um. These balls that you like go like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that these balls that I go like this. I'm not gonna say it. I refuse. <laughs> but those look kind of cool. Let's hope they have some value. This is a New Testament, another Bible. We give the Bibles back because a lot of people like to have them. It's their personal one and that means stuff to them. And it's just not worth it to us. This is a, what is that? A battery of some sort? Nickel metal hybrid battery. Hydride battery. Hydride. I'm looking at a weird angle. Okay. What is this? You think these are Converse? Uh, they're definitely not Converse. <laughs> oh, another iPhone box. Hope I didn't just show somebody's phone number. This is an iPhone 7, 32 gig. Mm. Not in there. What do we got? Is this personal pictures? Looks like personal. It's actually not in there, look. All right. Just a nice mom frame. And let me see if there's anything in here that's not personal pictures. Ah! Don't play with me. So damn, we have found a gun, a boat, and a Hummer. <laughs> Crazy unit. Um, well, yeah, this is gonna be all personal stuff, unfortunately. With some other stuff mixed in. And what else do we have down here? Pictures, another CD case. Let's see if they're games or DVDs or what they are. Michael Jackson, this is it. All of them, and this here, this is music. And a lot of burned ones again, unfortunately. The burned ones we just throw out, and the ones that are real, we'll make a lot and probably auction them as well. Other than that, guys, that's it. Can I point something out? What is this? <laughs> Why is this oh, like is a, that... a wooden flute just sitting in the top of this? Oh, what is that? It's like some kind of... Or is that the thing that you like blow on here, you like turn it sideways, and that's how you play it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not putting my <laughs> mouth on it, but... That's just weirdly at the top of that, kind of strange. So I found this in there too, which is a painting. It says the classroom and Frederick Douglass on it. As far as I know, I'm not that into Frederick Douglass. I didn't think he was a painter, did any type of painting, but <coughs> I don't know. This is also really cool. Look at that. A whole sheet of Elvis Presley stamps with number 29 on them. I thought that was definitely cool. I know there's tons of stamp collectors and there's tons of Elvis collectors, so that'll definitely hit both markets. Good stuff. So I took all the personal pictures out of here and check these two out. This is like a very old looking like oil pastel type drawing or painting. But look at the back of the frame. It looks really old. And this one has an old ship in it that apparently existed from 1680 to 1693. It's got some type of seal on it up here too. If you look at the top, if anyone recognizes that. Definitely cool. And again, it's not, it doesn't look as old, but it's definitely an old frame too. So they might really be valuable. I hate to do this to you guys. We're gonna have to stop this video here. We really gotta load up the van. I don't know much room, more room we have, but make sure you come back for part three next, which will be Saturday's the live auction. Sunday, part three of this unit, cause I just may have cheated and looked in the back of the unit. You're not gonna believe it. It's really, really good. So make sure you come back Sunday. But anyway, thanks for watching this one. Leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace out.